Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. I'm back on the Amarola 30. I've already lapped this piece in. What I do is I, years ago, I built these metal bars to screw in. You could cut wooden dowel, about a half an inch thick, drill a small hole, and then run a wood screw in there, and it'll hold it in place. Then you can reverse it to do the other side. What I'm going to show you are some tricks. This governor screw right here that holds the bearing in place was loose on the machine. I pre-loosened everything, but I'm going to show you how to get it apart. First you want to do is get the carry job. You undo this screw, which I've already pre-done, and this rod. pulls out and the slide the carriage slides out because that's the half nut to the lead screw and you don't want to damage that. And what you want to do on a phonograph is you want to get the governor out of the machine if there's still tension on the spring. And I'm going to show you a little trick. I've undo, I'm going to undo this bearing screw and I'm going to undo this bearing screw. And you're going to hold this, you're going to hold the mandrel and that pops out. Why am I holding the mandrel? Because if there's any tension left on the spring, that'll just spin. And you can keep your hand on it. If it starts spinning too fast, you can control the speed with your hand here. We want to make sure we don't lose the bearings. That's why the egg carton is so much fun. Just like a diamond disc. Oh, you can see it running now. There's still a little tension on the spring running by itself. This is the bearing adjustment screw, just like a diamond disc. Sometimes these are a little booger because they get stuck in there and you have to use a pair of needle nose pliers like that to pop them apart. Now there's a little screw right here that holds this collar in place. And because I'm old and have bad eyeballs, I got to use my magnifier. Get it on the top. That pulls off. Now gently, you take the mandrel, that slides off. And what you have is these two springs right here. And you want to make sure these two springs on this are right there. They're not broken. And they fit right in here. And the, that's control tent, uh, vibration on the cylinder. It controls it like a governor. Then this. Now watch. Did you see this? When I pulled it apart, there is still tension. So now everything's loose. Now you're going to have to take this screw out and these two screws out, these two and these two. We're going to have to flip it over and then pull the whole motor assembly off so I can get this gear out. This is a lot of fun and that's my tip for the day.